Collaboration is where most of the day-to-day -day process of leadership and management occurs. You're working as a team to gain the best possible outcome. Here are some important points to keep in mind. Take time to think. Review objective data related to the assignments and projects and the people involved. Then allow your mind to reflect on the people involved and how they operate and how you think they might be struggling or excelling. Trust your gut. If you feel uncomfortable, move toward the person or the situation, get more information until you can get comfortable. Learn to engage. You may recall the leadership engagement model graphic with the three columns, dominate on the right, withdraw on the left, and engage in the middle. In uncomfortable situations, most people have a natural default to either dominate or withdraw based on their natural DNA. Did you notice the negative emotions on the left and right columns? Manage yourself and consider individual differences. As we discussed in chapter six, understanding and using natural behavior enables you to make the art of leadership more scientific and logical. With an understanding of talents and individual differences, you'll be able to anticipate where people are going to flourish and where they're likely to let you down. Delegate and get commitment. When you assign a task to someone, there's a lot at stake, underscoring the need for clarity. So fight for clarity and understanding. Be clear about what is expected. What is the task? Why are we doing this? What will success look like? Provide a concise explanation of the desired end state. Explain how the re results relate to the purpose of the organization. Ask for questions and promote discussion through this process. And above all, be willing to listen. At the end, you want an agreement, a mutual commitment for the work. To encourage initiative and acceptance of responsibility, be clear that you are delegating responsibility and authority to complete the job. Dialogue, don't micromanage. Having a regular dialogue with your team members can be difficult. But as we've seen already, connection and communication are needed to stay aligned. Give ongoing feedback. Give as much positive feedback as you can. It can be very simple. Just know that affirmation is like gas in the tank. It gives energy to keep moving ahead. Give critical feedback carefully and with respect. Make it for growth and development and avoid personal attacks. This type of feedback always stings, always. So help the person see that it's essential for their growth and you're doing them a favor. Remember collaboration is helpful in all situations and especially an effective way to lead and develop millennials. Now you're all set to go engage with honor.